Hello, it's Isabel. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be working on a layout for Iron Crafter Challenge. It is a new YouTube and Instagram hop created by Anna over at Peacecraft Love. Now, there is a Facebook group. If you guys are interested, I'll have that linked below. That way you can get some information if you're interested in participating for next month. Now, this is going to be a hop that happens once a month. And it is designed to get us to use those tools in our craft room that we don't necessarily gravitate to. So for this month, we were challenged to incorporate sequins, beads, or pearls, whichever you prefer, or you could use all three. I am going to try to use all three. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is um, I brought in my shimmers here in the pink, the brink of pink and very licious. And I'm going to do some mixed media going up on each side. And then this tool, it is new to me. I got it in some happy mail from my friend Kimberly. And I thought that this would work perfect for this layout because we've got hearts going on in the filter that we're using on this photo. It does say love you, so I'm not 100% sure I'll have a title. I may just utilize that as my title, but we'll see when we get there. So what I'm thinking about doing to add the sequence and the beads, I've created this sort of mix um, with white and pink sequence. And then I also brought in some hearts from Luna Confetti. It was part of one of the Halloween confetti packs uh, this past year. And then I <laughs> brought in, so I don't necessarily work with beads in the craft room, but my daughter does do bead um she does do jewelry so she had these seed beads and i am going to pull her purple and her pink not all of them but i'm gonna pull some of them for the layout to incorporate beads and they're um in here as well i'm gonna create another layer behind my photo here i did already double back it white and black but i'm gonna do another layer with the acetate and create a shaker in the background as another layer. This one right here, I'm gonna get it cut a couple times in black, and I'm gonna have that coming up on each side of the photo over the mixed media. I think that would look really good. And then to incorporate the pearls, I am gonna bring in, this is a little bit left of what I have on pearl strips. I think I'm gonna create small butterflies, either from fussy cutting or die cuts, uh, maybe even a stamp and use the tiny little pearls on here to embellish the butterfly. That way I get all three in. Now I may not use all three on every single month um, challenge, but I thought the first challenge, you know, um, it would be fun to try to use all three. So let me get to it and let's see how this comes out. Cause I have it done in my head and I'm not a hundred percent sure what it's actually gonna look like. <laughs> So to start, I think I'm gonna put together my shaker. Now the photo is cut, um, it was printed a four by six and I cut it down a little bit. So it's more of a four by five. And then by double backing it, it goes back to, I believe it's like a six by four and a half.
once I get all the, sh the sequins and the beads in, I am going to bring my tacky glue and paint the glue on the background that's going to be against the sequins so that it can help in holding the sequins and beads where they're at as opposed to them actually being a shaker. I wanted it to be more of a textured frame um, than a true shaker. So I completely believe that I was successful in my creation. I love how it came out. It does provide multiple colors that are in the photo and then it gives me the texture look to it. So completely, completely happy with how that came out. Um, now for the mixed media aspect, I am just going to put a little bit of the shimmers on my workspace and then um, water it down so that it can, it's not so deep. I didn't want the background in the mixed media to be heavy. Um, and I honestly didn't need to use the brink, the brink of pink. Um, it is so light. It hardly, you hardly even notice that it's on it. Um, and I say hardly because it seems like it has more shimmer than the previous color I used. And so it added a little bit more sparkle. You don't see it on camera, but in person you can tell, but that is all it added for, at least for me on this layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hearts die cut in black and I'm going to get them down. However, I wasn't happy with how it looked. So I made the executive decision to just continue the mixed media throughout the whole page. Um, and then Okay, you guys, so I got all of these backed, and then once I put them down, I felt like too much pink, too plain, so what I ended up doing is I brought in this purple cardstock and this pink cardstock to kind of bring in the colors that are in here, and I kind of pieced it together to look like this. So instead of it being plain, I'll have um, the three colors of a design going up on the side and I still have to do this side um, once I get all this adhered down going like this this is gonna mimic this side so it'll look exactly the same and then what I did was I brought in um, this acrylic piece from um, Bramble Fox that came from the January Fox box I am going to give it a title after all. It's going to say Treasured Snapshot. I'm going to pull the treasure from this little banner piece um, from the Coco Vanilla Unforgettable. And this is going to go right on top. Now to bring in the pearls, I'm going to do a butterfly. I'm not sure if I'm going to do one, multiple, or just one. Um, for now, I'm just going to do one. And I kind of, this is how I did it. So I used the same hot pink cardstock, only with the back um, in black to help it pop. Uh, this die cut right here is from Close to My Heart. And then I took inspiration from Joanne Bartel. She usually does the butterfly studs. I'm going to do the pearls so that I get pearls on the layout. I am thinking... If I shift this over and do like treasured snapshots, I can do the butterfly flying this way and then I can kind of just do a loop-de-loop -loop with dots um, and then have the one butterfly because I feel like if I add more butterflies, it's going to be too much. And then I tried, I even tried putting them on here, but this has so much dimension because of the shaker. I don't want to do that so I'm gonna do this probably get these closer to the edge 
but once I get that together, that's going to be the layout. I'm going to keep it simple this time. I did think about doing another border on the out, but I don't know. Part of me is just thinking, like I'm overthinking this, I think. So I'm going to keep it plain. I mean, it's not plain, but I'm going to keep it as is. And I'm going to call it done. I used my sequins. I used the beads. And I even got the pearls on there. So all three. And I am pretty ecstatic. Um, let me remind you guys, this is a brand new hop. This is the first time that it is premiering. And it will go once a month for however long Anna wants to keep challenging us. But what it is tailored to is to get you to use those items we don't particularly use quite often so if you're interested go down below in my description box jump on the link to the Facebook Facebook group and you'll be able to ask away and any questions that you have or leave me a comment below in my description box and I'll be happy to answer the best that I can also in my description box there is a list of people who are participating in this hop for this month go check them out go see what they were able to do with their beads and pearls and sequins um not all of us are going to use all three but it's going to be really fun to see how everybody is going to use those items so that is the layout i hope you enjoyed it thank you for sticking around uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys on another day with another layout. Bye.